hiking up this dry wash towards an old mining cemetery that dates back to the uh, 1800s, mid 1800s. So let's go check it out. Here's another grave. I'm at the wrong end. Of course, people leave their tokens there, which is nice. Let's see if you can see the front of this one. Oh, geez, yeah, our, our babies. Children of Carrie and Kenneth Hughes. Maybe they had triplets or twins and they're all buried right here. No names given for the children. That's a shame. Here's a grave with a pretty heavy duty railing around it. Woodman of the World Memorial. Uh, a woodman, like a lumberjack. Is that what that, is that maybe who is buried here? I don't know. Um, I don't see any names or anything, but uh, that's interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a name down there. Gomez, September 27th, 1893, died May 6th, 1918. There's a, looks like a Latin phrase in the center there. Doom Taggett. Claim Clamat. I'll have to research that Woodman of the World. If that's a real organization, it, it must be. So, never heard of that though. In loving memory of Severo Nunez, 1884 to 1941. And this one has some modern uh, plastic flowers on it. So some people do come up here and, uh, you know, pay their respects and to their, their relatives that are buried here and maintain the graves. That's nice. Here's another one. Paula P. Tafoya, uh, December 15th, 1892, November 4th, 1918. Wow. She didn't live that long. 1892 to uh, uh, 1902 is 10 years, 12, about 26 years old when she died. Looks like there was a grave here somewhere, but uh, the fencing has all been torn down. Ah, uh, look, here's the, uh, here's part of the tombstone. Broken. Looks like it might have been right here, the grave, right there. Wow, here's a big, a big plot. This might have been for a family or something. Another big grave right there. Wow, look how big this is. And you hear thunder. Here's another one right here. Here's another tombstone. baby Perry Everett whited born October 22nd 1905 died August 3rd 1906 asleep in Jesus it seems the higher I go up on the hillside the more elaborate and larger the grave sites become I wonder if that has anything to do with 
you know, the uh, wealth of the people that are buried here, that the ones with more money were higher on the hillside, kind of, you know, more prominent and therefore allotted uh, much larger plots. I don't know. Here's a here's another one. No tombstone in that one. Wow, here's a really really big fence. Got some cactus growing up here. Okay, let's see what that says. Let me zoom in. Okay. Janiah Odell. 1823 to 1895, Mary Melvina Odell, 1826 to 1925, Adolf P. Bishad, 1888 to 1889, another child, and Lottie M. Bishad, 1853 to 1941. And look at this old tree. It looks like this tree uh, um, was burned at one point. It's all blackened. There's a lot of cactus growing here too. Wow, this is pretty amazing. So you can see, looking across there, we're kind of in a hilly area, mountainous terrain, and this graveyard is kind of you know, on this steep hillside. So here's about the only grave I found in this cemetery that's kind of recent. Date of death is uh, 1981. Date of birth was August of 1894. Silesia Strazzi, sister. And then over here on her right is Henry Strazzi, brother, but no dates are given for him. And Back there in the back is the father. Uh, I think that's Archangelo or Angelo Strazzi and the mother. I can't see the name on that, but she's in the back right corner. So here you have an entire family plot. Well, got some rain coming down here at this old abandoned mine. Check out this cabin. Here's the door. And, uh, there's a little stove in the corner, a table, and a lot of the graffiti of other explorers and hikers who've been up here, etched into the walls. It's pretty cool.